All right, welcome back, ladies and gents. We're on Exodus chapter two today, uh, the birth of Moses. So real quick, going back from last chapter, Pharaoh um, commanded that every male baby be killed based upon his fear that the population of the Israelites was getting too big. So verse one, now a man from the house of Levi went and married a daughter of Levi. All right, so quick reminder, Levi was the third born son of Jacob and his mother was Leah. In Genesis chapter 34, it was Levi and his brother Simeon uh, that went Rambo on Shechem and his dad Hamor and the Hivites for what Shechem did to their sister Dinah. So that's the bloodline that Moses comes from. Okay, verse two. The woman, a daughter from the house of Levi, conceived and bore a son. And when she saw that he was beautiful, she hid him for three months. But when she could hide him no longer, she, she got him a wicker basket and covered it with tar and pitch. Then she put the child into it and set it among the reeds by the bank of the Nile. His sister stood at a distance to find out what would happen to him. Verse 5. The daughter of Pharaoh came down to bathe at the Nile with her maidens walking alongside the Nile. And she saw the basket among the reeds and sent her maiden, and she brought it to her. When she opened it, she saw the child, and behold, the boy was crying. And she had pity on him and said, This is one of the Hebrews' children. Then his sister, and this was uh, Moses' sister Miriam, who um, was following down the river with him, said to Pharaoh's daughter, Shall I go and call a nurse for you from the Hebrew woman, that she may nurse the child for you? Pharaoh's daughter said to her, Go ahead. So the girl went and called the child's mother. Verse 9, then Pharaoh's daughter said to her, um, now referencing Moses' mother, take this child away and nurse him for me, and I will give you your wages. So the woman took the child and nursed him. The child grew, and she brought him to Pharaoh's daughter, and he became her son. And she named him Moses and said, because I drew him out of the water. And Moses means to pull or draw out. Uh, verse 11, now it came about in those days when Moses had grown up that he went out to his brethren, referring to the Hebrews or the Israelites, and looked on their hard labors. And he saw an Egyptian beating a Hebrew, one of his brethren. So he looked this way and that, and when he saw there was no one around, he struck down the Egyptian and hid him in the sand. Verse 13, he went out the next day and behold, two Hebrews were fighting with each other. And he said to the offender, Why are you striking your companion? But he said, Who made you a prince or a judge over us? Are you intending to kill me as you killed the Egyptian? Then Moses was afraid and said, Surely the matter has become known. When Pharaoh heard of this matter, he tried to kill Moses. But Moses fled from the presence of Pharaoh and settled in the land of Midian, and he sat down by a well. Uh, the Midianites were descendants of Abraham and Keturah from Genesis chapter 25. They settled in the Arabian Peninsula along the eastern shore of the Gulf of Aqaba. Verse 16. Now the priest of Midian had seven daughters, and they came to draw water and filled the troughs to water their father's flock. Then the shepherds came and drove them away. But Moses stood up and helped them and watered their flock. Uh, one thing I really like about Moses is he was a fighter. Okay, for the most part. Verse 18. When they came to Ruel, their father, he said, Why have you come back so soon today? So they said, An Egyptian delivered us from the hand of the shepherds. And what is more, he even drew the water for us and watered the flock. He said to his daughters, Where is he then? Why is it that you have left the man behind? Invite him to have something to eat. Moses was willing to dwell with the man, and he gave his daughter Zipporah to Moses. Then she gave birth to a son, and he named him Gershom, for he said, I have been a sojourner in a foreign land. And Gershom, Gershom means a cast out. Verse 23. Now it came about in the course of those many days that the king of Egypt died, and the sons of Israel sighed because of the bondage, and they cried out, and their cry for help because of their bondage rose up to God. Verse 24, so God heard their groaning and God remembered his covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. God saw the sons of Israel and God took notice of them. All right, so that's it for the start of an amazing adventure that's about to begin. 
Please join me tomorrow for chapter three. I'm looking forward to it. God bless you.